हेलो एवरीवन डियर स्टूडेंट्स आज हम पढ़वा आइसोटोप एलोटाइप एंड एडियोटाइप व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन आइसोटाइप एलोटाइप एंड एडियोटाइप सो लेट मी फर्स्ट स्टार्ट दिस एलोटाइप बिफोर दैट आई हैव टू से वन थिंग दैट इज फैटी एपिटोप एंड फैटी स्पारटो एपिटोप इज अदरवाइज कॉल्ड एंटीजेनिक डिटरमिनेंट it is a portion of the foreign protein or antigen that is capable of stimulating an immune response okay so an epitope is a part of antigen that binds to a specific antigen receptor on the surface of the b cells as you know what is b cell what is t cells what are the difference of b cells and t cells b cell is a uh, formed in bone marrow and matured in bone marrow also and but in t cells it is formed in bone marrow but it matured in thymus so these are the uh, some of the differences between b cell and t cell so epitop is you know that epitop um, we can say in other term that the smallest uh, unit of antigen that is capable of binding with antibodies is called an antigenic determinant or epitop and same uh, then what is paratop the part of which called the corresponding area of antibody molecules combined with the epitop is called part so in the let us say it next slide i will show you the what is epitop and what is part of if epitop and receptor fit together like lock and key the binding is necessary to activate b cells for the production of antibodies the antibodies produced by b cells are targeted specific Specifically to the epitope that binds to the cells of antigen receptor. So these are the some of the differences between epitope and paratop. So here you can see this picture. What is epitope and paratop? So in uh, uh, this case, so this part is called epitope. When this is uh, this part is called epitope. when it is binding to the uh, antibody of the uh, binding site so it is called part so you can see the differences between epitope and part of okay so it is a very interesting uh, subject so uh, so let me start the isotope allotype and epitope so what is isotope allotype and epitope so these are the exactly same the antigen antigenic determinant like epitope and part of how the uh, antibody and antigen are interact and how they join itself and how they binding itself so these are the different processes where it binds and how which binds and which part uh, which area it spread so these are the different form of so uh, antigenic determinant okay so some of the def definitions here we know that antigen that are Uh, protein acts as a potent antigen and can induce the immune system similarly if you think about antibodies that like a protein so logically they should be able to induce our immune system there are specific regions and antibodies which can induce the immune system these regions and antibody are called antigenic determinants so accordingly uh, uh, they are divided into three categories one is isotype allotype and uh, epitope so let me first start uh, isotype so you can see the picture this is the isotopic determinant as we know we have uh, the five different types of antibodies that is immunoglobulin uh, m ig stands for immunoglobulin igm iga igg ige and igd so based on the class of heavy chain uh, they have uh, alpha Uh, mu gamma epsilon delta respectively so in this case you can see uh, which one is a um, heavy chain this outer side is a light chain and this inner side is a heavy chain so this heavy any change in that heavy chain that leads to the some of the complexes or differences in the immunoglobulin right so uh, it is very interesting that in a, uh, this picture this is type of antibody it may be iga igg or igd anything uh, either of five so uh, how this uh, isotopic determinant step plus because isotope means the same as you know isotope means same 
so uh, in this case uh, we can say so IgG1 and IgM so these are the two uh, same thing means we can take the uh, help of uh, any immunoglobulin so, uh, let um, anybody immunoglobulin IgM and IgM someone pack up with someone actually someone number of sites some number of binding sites you can see these two pictures so they are uh, almost same so that's why this uh, I said this is called isotope and they are uh, the same it looks the same and so there are specific sequence and constant region of heavy and light chain in light chain it can say that this is kappa and uh, lambda okay so we decided that class or subclass of antibody it is so from here also we can say this is uh, the uh, isotope instead. So some other definitions like isotope is same, isom is same. So because all members of a given species expresses all the isotope in a serum, for example, all immunologically normal individuals will have all uh, five types of antibodies present in their serum. That is 5 M A G E N I G T. Therefore, different species inherited different constant region genes and thus expresses different isotopes. So it takes antibody from one species and injects to the another species. It could result in anti-isotypic uh, antibody uh, production. So uh, locations, any change in constant region uh, of heavy chain and light chain, and observation uh, in all the individual subspecies, it can be observed. And what is its importance to measure immunoglobulin level to check for immunodeficiency to detection of uh, this. So this is all about another uh, slides. It shows just complete the chain five different types of uh, structure with a different uh, naming uh, like alpha immune and already uh, uh, have told you business. So skip these slides. So what is allotype? And uh, you can see uh, what is allotype. You can see from the pictures. Allotype is a type of antigenic determinant as specified by the allelic form of the IgG. Although all the member of a species inherit, it, inherit the same set of IgG genes, they are would be multiple alleles present for the cell. So in this case, you can see I am just giving same with the pictures. So you see, this is a, uh, this is you can see the this part. And you can see the this part, okay. And you can see the this part, and you can see the this part. So here we can just see there is just some changes in the uh, substances binding here, okay. So if we take the antibody from the one member of the species and inject to the another member of the same species, it will result in production of antibodies against allotypic determinant, right. So from this structure you can see this is a type, one type it is binding and this is a, a, another type. Same mouse IgG1 and here it comes from mouse IgG1. So here this strain is strain B. If you injected this uh, uh, both in the same, so there must be a difference in the uh, uh, reaction. Okay. So, locations in constant region and heavy regions observed during blood transfusion during pregnancy, importance monitoring bone monographs, uh, paternity testing, forensic testing. So, based on the genetic difference among individuals, this multiple allele exists for the sum of the genes. So, these allele and four minor amino acid differences known as allotypic determinants. And these are the sum of the individual allotypic determinants displaced by the displayed by an antibody determinant is allotic type. So at final you can see the idiotype. So you can see the different in the idiotypic structure. You can see idiotype are the unique antigenic determinant present on variable heavy chain and variable light chain of individual antibody molecules. Right. So here you can see this is a variable nature and this is also a variable region okay so in this variable region there are two different types of determinant are attaching see these are the term, different types of uh, receptor and these are the different types of receptor so when we counter this antigen 
ये वीडियो की रीजन ऑफ हाउ एंटीबॉडी रेकॉग्नाइज इज द एंटीजन एंड दी सेल्स प्रोड्यूस ए स्पेसिफिक एंटीबॉडी सो इन द हाइपर म्यूटेशन और अगेंस्ट द पर्टिकुलर एंटीजन सो वी एनकाउंटर द एंटीजन और बी सेल्स मैक्स वेरी स्पेसिफिक एंड पीपुलर एंटीबॉडीज अगेंस्ट इट राइट सो this is all the definitions uh, this this uh, location is only the variable uh, region of the channel light chain region also and observe when uh, we inject antibodies from a donor who is genetically identical to the recipient induces production of anti identity antibodies and important treatment of beta cell tumor and vaccines so this uh, variable uh, light and variable heavy the main set antibody constitute an antigen antibody um, site to recognize the fast vast array of antigen that the human can encounter in its life time this variable region has different structural uh, conformation owing to the presence of different amino acids which have millions of such antibodies in the human body specific for each antigen so in the case of uh, human especially but we saw the three types of uh, this adrenal type means the one is isotypic and another is idiotypic so three are the different uh, types as we already read uh, from the different structure so we can take the isotypic differences allotypic differences and idiotypic differences it has the three important antigenic determinant site as you can say so uh, some of the differences also given there so you go to the uh, books uh, as well as different like uh, cube is the best criminological book you can refer that and uh, you can also go to the other uh, uh, panicker book so if uh, any doubts you can write me in the comment section okay thank you